Okay, viewers and subscribers, it's that time again. Yet another mystery box has arrived at my doorstep from a very fine gentleman, John, who's provided me numerous items. So let's see what John has so graciously sent to me this time. Couldn't come on a better day either because it's been a long, shitty week of work. And I'm kind of in need of a pick-me-up. <clears throat> wow! First thing is craft accessory package. Now this dates back many, many years. This is from a craft radio. And the accessory package is a servo arm and some servo mounting grommets price of one dollar twenty five cents so this dates back quite a ways I can guarantee you this probably dates back prior to me even being in this hobby and we got ooh, an ass load of peanuts oh look at that and that figures it goes along with a craft radio which is so eloquently packed Look at this thing. <clears throat> now this is a piece meant for a museum. Get this tape off of here so we can take a look at this thing. Now this is some real history. I think I recall when I first started in the hobby uh, seeing one of the modelers still actually using a craft single stick radio. Now this thing is weighty. I mean it probably weighs in at three pounds and it's <clears throat> got a full battery this thing is gold metal series this is pretty freaking impressive look at this old style connector on here look at this placard this is phenomenal that's really really cool as shit um, let me pull this off well, here we go, here we go. Here's some good information here. Look at this. Right here. <clears throat> RC AMA RF check. Channel 20. Oh, it says number 22 there, but it's a channel 44. It's a 72.670 megahertz system. What does this say? Tangerine International RC Championships. Man, I don't know, but I could actually be holding a historic piece of equipment here. This is uh, quite unusual. Let's see if there's anything else in this box here. <clears throat> I think I see another item. Oh god, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Looks like a whole craft radio system. I think that's the end here, so... Oh, here's an antenna. All right, so I can move this box out of the way. So check this out. This is just unbelievable. Let me get a wider view here. A little bit too wide. So we've got a craft radio and the servos receiver. Holy moly, look at this thing. Look at the size of this receiver. Man, talk about some seriously cool old school stuff here. And I guarantee you, this thing probably still works too. I mean, hell, the battery and the transmitter pegged on the meter. This is pretty. <laughs> this is so, I'm kind of speechless right now. Look at this. Back in the day. <clears throat> when this was the norm, now you've got receive or now you've got servos, are t you know, a fifth of this size. Man, this is really, really, really cool. Let's see what's in this last, and of course the antennas here. Let's see what's in this last little bundle. Oh, some old batteries. Wow, look at this. So we have a complete. Craft system. Wow. 700 milliamp 
our 4.8 volt NICAD. Now I'm probably fairly confident um, I, I'm guessing that these things are probably not any good anymore <clears throat> but one never knows NICADs historically don't really last that long man but this is a this is really really a unique package and I'm expecting John to chime in or at least email me and tell me more about this it could end up being that this was actually used by somebody that won a championship I mean who knows I have no idea the history of this thing but it's freaking phenomenal that is some seriously cool stuff there this dates back to way before I was in this hobby but Kraft made some of the best best systems at that time so John I, I don't even know what to say I'm just kinda of speechless in awe looking at this stuff I, all I can say is thank you. Um, thank you very much, John. This is some pretty cool history here. Thank you all for watching.